Hey guys, welcome back to Nelly Nummies. I hope you're hanging in there okay. I know things have been a little gloomy lately, but it's getting a little better if you look at it. One way to make the days a little bit brighter is to think of the things that we're thankful for. And one thing I'm thankful for is birthdays. And in my family, the next birthday that's coming up is my mama's. So today we're gonna make a special treat for my mama. But one of my mama's favorite things is lemons so we're gonna make some lemon bars so we're gonna get started making the lemon bars here with lemon bars they have at least the ones we're making they have a shortbread cookie crust at the very bottom so it's a very flaky crumbly crust but it's so good and to make that we're gonna need three quarters cup of flour a heaping three quarters cup and then a quarter cup, so one fourth cup of sugar, white granulated sugar. And then we're gonna need about one eighth to a quarter teaspoon of salt. You can just use your table salt. Cold butter, half a cup or one stick of butter. And then one eighth of a cup of cornstarch that I already put in the bowl here. So to get started, I'm going to add my flour to my cornstarch, my sugar. I'm just gonna eyeball my salt a little bit. And then grab a whisk that I forgot about and whisk it together. So it's kind of incorporated and the flour's a little bit fluffy. And then the fun part that's next is, so you're gonna wanna use cold butter. And what we're gonna do is we get to play with our food a little bit. We are gonna cut this into cubes and then rub it into the flour with our fingers. And I'll show you how we do that. Now that's in its cubes. I'm just gonna put these little cubes into the flour. Now that we got the butter cubed up and put into the bowl here, I just tossed it around a little bit in the flour just to kind of get them coated. So what we're gonna do is simply take our fingers and smoosh it. This is what we call rubbing it into the flour. You can also do this with a pastry cutter or some people use a couple knives or fork. You just wanna kind of get the butter broken down into small bits and mixed in with the flour. This is kind of the same process we do when making pie crust using butter or shortening. So it's a similar process. And I personally, this is kind of my favorite part because I like playing with food. This is kind of what I mean by crumbly looking. And then so something like this, and then if you scrunch it together, it'll hold. So that's what we're looking for. And if you find that yours isn't doing that it seems a little too dry and it's not holding together and you have all the butter mixed in go ahead and put in like one or two more tablespoons of cold butter and mix that in and then see okay now that we have our crust mixture mixed we are going to take an eight by eight or a nine by nine hi bonnie yes bonnie no this isn't for you baby we're gonna take our pan, an eight by eight or nine by nine, nine by nine pan, line it with parchment paper or tin foil and spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray. And then we're gonna take our crumb mixture, unceremoniously dump it in there, pat it out with your hands, spread it out as evenly as you can. And then you're gonna pat it down so it's a nice, flat, even layer and sticks together nicely. You can also use a, the bottom of a glass or a cup or a bowl or just something flat to flatten this down if you want. I'm just using my hands because, well, it'd be easy. Okay, all right, you're gonna look like that. It's gonna be nice and flat. And kind of smooth depending what you use 
And then we're gonna take this and put it in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven and bake it for 20 to 25 minutes or until it's lightly golden brown around the edges and it seems set. Okay, so I'll see you guys back in a few minutes with a nicely cooked crust. Okay, now it's been about 20 minutes for me and my crust is now done. It's nice and golden brown right along the edges here and it's ready to go. The next step will be to, the next step will be to make the filling and that is gonna be the best part of the entire bar in my opinion, because the lemon filling is gonna be nice and gooey and sweet but with a nice little tang of the lemons and so to start out with that we're gonna need a quarter cup one fourth of a cup of lemon juice a tablespoon of lemon zest or i'm just gonna do an entire lemon and see how that far that gets me two whole eggs one eighth of a cup of flour the flour is what helps bind the lemon mixture together and give it that gooeyness. And then three quarter cups of granulated sugar or your version of sweetener of choice. And then a nice little bowl to mix it all together. So to start out with, I'm going to mix my eighth of a cup of flour and my three quarters cup of sugar. Try not to spill it everywhere. <sighs> the lovely mess. We're just gonna sweep that in the bowl. Dump the sugar in the bowl. Not all over the counter, I like me. And then we're gonna take our whisk, mix it together so that it's nice and incorporated before we add our liquid. And then we're gonna add in our two eggs. The eggs is what also adds the gooey, gooey factor and also helps bind everything together as well, just like the flour. Mix it up a little bit, give, give it a good stir for a little bit, try and help break down the sugar a little bit, get it to dissolve. So now that that's mixed, I'm going to zest one lemon or up to a tablespoon. You can do more or less depending on your preference. The more zest that you add, the stronger the lemon flavor it will be. And considering my mom really likes lemon, and well, me too, I really love lemon too. I'm gonna just do this entire lemon and I'm using a nice fine zester here. So it's gonna be really fine in hair really fine hair texture. You won't notice it in the bars at all. Okay, that's good. Make sure you clean off the bit of zest that gets on the bottom. Hi, Bonnie. Okay, so there's all that nice little zest. Now we're gonna mix that in. And then the final component will be to add the lemon juice. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna use my juicer here. One trick I like to do to get, I apparently like to throw it on the floor. Okay, we're gonna use this lemon for now. <laughs> One trick I like to do to get more juice out of a lemon, you can microwave it for like about 10 seconds probably no more than that because you don't want it to get too warm and burst. But I like to take the palm of my hand or the heel of my hand and just roll it on the counter a little bit, kind of get it to soften and break down. Doesn't have to be very long, just a little bit. Just helps get a little more juice out of it. Grab a knife and then we're gonna slice it. Yep, and there's already a good amount of juice coming out of there. Okay, take your lemon and juice it. We're gonna want about one fourth of a cup of juice. 
It can be a little more or less. All right, now I got probably closer to half a cup of juice, but that's okay. We're gonna take our juice and make sure you get out as many seeds as you can. I'm just gonna strain it through here. Combine that in there. There we go. And now mix everything together. It's gonna be pretty loose, but I promise you it will thicken up in the oven while it bakes and you'll get nice and gooey. I like to whip it for a good minute here just to kind of mix everything together really well. Um, I like to see little bubbles. That way I know it's fully incorporated. There, now we have our lemon mixture, our filling. I'm gonna grab my pan. And then my favorite part, unceremoniously dump it in the pan. Just pour it over the crust. Get as much of that goodness in there. Okay. I like to give it a few taps on the counter there to get rid of some of the air bubbles. And now we're gonna throw this in our 350 degree, of, degree oven that we left on and bake it for about 18 to 22 minutes or until the filling looks set and it doesn't jiggle too much in the middle. And we're back and the bars are baked now. And if you look along here, we have some golden brown along the edges and a few little spots here and there. If you have that, that's fine because we're gonna do something very magical and dust it in powdered sugar. Powdered sugar will cover everything. But before we do the dusting, we are gonna let this cool at room temperature for about two, one to two hours. And then after that, it might be cool enough to where we can dust it and slice it and serve it, but to be safe to ensure that the gooey filling and everything is nice and set and it's cooled, we're gonna also refrigerate it for a few hours. Um, since it is nighttime for me right now, I'm going to let this cool, get ready for bed, throw it in the refrigerator for overnight, and I will show you how to dust it and with powdered sugar and serve it in the morning. I mean, who doesn't want dessert in the morning anyway, so me. Now that our bars have had time to cool and I've had mine chilling in the refrigerator overnight, so they're definitely cooled and set. And if you gently touch the top, it's pretty solid. And if you like me and had in the fridge, it's pretty firm. Some areas might be a little gooey, but that's okay, that's good. So the next thing we're gonna do before we slice up the lemon bars is dust them with a fine mesh strainer or sieve with and take some powdered sugar and we're gonna dust it over the top before we take them out of the pan just to make it easier. And just do a quite quick, light dusting. Don't wanna to do too heavy. Or if you're like me, you accidentally do, do a little too heavy on the sugar anyway, but that's okay. These are tart bars, so a little extra powdered sugar won't hurt. And it'll cover up any little imperfections that we may have had. We're gonna take our little parchment paper flaps here and we're gonna lift it out, lift the bars out of the pan, set them on a cutting board, move this out of the road. Now that we have the bars out of the pan, you can see they're kind of a, they're a pretty thin bar, but we can cut them in larger slices if you wanna be, have a little bit bigger bite. But now we have them all pretty and dusted in powdered sugar and they're ready to go. So now we're just gonna get a knife. Get a knife and slice them up and get ready to serve and enjoy. I'm gonna cut mine into kind of small pieces just so that we can portion control a little bit because I have quite the sweet tooth and I know my mama does too. I'm not gonna lie. That is probably the straightest lines I have ever cut. 
<laughs> so if we take one out here. Now let's be careful that some of the lemon goo might have seeped underneath the bars a bit. So you just gotta take your knife and carefully peel it away. Yep, that's exactly what happened. But that's okay, it's still tasty. So here's our lemon bars. Pretty good. Unfortunately, some of the lemon goo seeped underneath, but it's still gonna be tasty nonetheless. Now's the favorite part, you get to sample them. Because of course, before we send these off to my mama, we wanna make sure they taste good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the shortbread crust that we made, it was a nice little crunchy cookie. And then, though the lemon filling that we had poured in seeped underneath here, that is perfectly okay because it still tastes good. It's a nice gooey filling so we didn't overbake it. And it has a nice tart lemon flavor, but there's just enough sugar, both with the powdered sugar on top, and then we put in the filling that it's not like overbearingly tart and you're gonna pucker up. So we're good. Mm -hmm. You want some too, Bonnie? Yeah? But these lemon bars, they're perfect if you want a nice little summer treat, even when it's getting cold outside like it is for me right now. It's a nice way to bring the sunshine inside and just enjoy a little pop of sweet flavor and tart lemon. And I hope you guys get to try this. I hope it works out well. These didn't turn out perfect for me this time around because the filling seeped underneath the crust, but that's okay because they still taste amazing and so good. It's not perfect and it's okay if yours doesn't turn out perfect either. Just means you get to try again later. And I will see you guys next time. And remember, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and hang in there. Things will get better, I promise. Even if it seems a little dark right now, the sunlight will come back, I promise. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys next time in the kitchen. Bye. <laughs>